Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at Shadow of the Tomb Raider on the Xbox Series S. And without further ado, let's just dive in. First of all, let's see how much data this game is, and it's 22.8 GB. It's the definitive edition of the game. That means all the DLC that was sold separately before is included in this version. So you don't need to buy those other um, sets or anything. The definitive edition extra content has everything already inside of the base game. Right now, the game is on Game Pass. So if you have a Game Pass subscription, you can get this game right away. There's also like a definitive Survivor Trilogy less than 18 bucks you get all three the tomb raider games with all the dlc there is really good deal um the game is semi optimized for new gen consoles so it's xbox one gen 9 aware that means it's still the xbox one version of the game but it knows it's being played on a series s or x cool thing if you still have a external ssd or hdd you can play this game from there. Hey, really cool. Um, let's go start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me. You're really helping out the channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a yeah um, daily basis. New games, old games, updates on games. Sometimes even a little bit of hardware here and there. <clears throat> so yeah these loading times are also pretty insane like what 10 12 seconds or something and it could take upwards to like 40 seconds before um this is the series s version of the game and um it runs on at native like 900p it uses some upscaling techniques i do think that if we could get like um fsr 3.0 for something like this it could be even better because it can look a little bit washed out not gonna lie it's uh no collect salvage to sharpen the blade um good good thing about this game is uh, it runs at 60 fps super stable and yeah it's it's really cool if you haven't played it yet go check it out you're gonna like it it's a capybara 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 i was looking for just need a bit more Peace. Stupid monkey. Do you anything, buddy? In here? Here. Got everything I need. Should head back to camp. What? Thanks. This game looks really well on the Series S. It is a little bit of a uh, lower resolution, and uh, but further from that perfectly fine I think in my humble opinion I didn't know the storm would hit so hard this is all my fault I should have listened to Jonah thought it through I never should have taken that dagger it's better I hope no one else was hurt no other village destroyed 
I need to stop these cataclysms before it's too late. <clears throat> it's, it's really good. It's such an amazing game to that play, by the way. Enough. I'm also going to do a video on Series X. And that one has two graphical modes. But there's something really strange going on with that one. Something's still holding the supplies up. Can get my gear back. Here we go. Why didn't I pack all my equipment together? Otherwise, the game would be Anyone? too easy. Come in. Miguel, where are you? Damn. This is so cool. Such a well-made game series. And there's not a single game that's bad in uh, with these games. Not a single one. They are all good. this kitty 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 These light effects. Got to be careful here. Oh. 
Absolutely gorgeous. Bye, kitty. Now it's a purse. That was something. But yeah, you guys, this is Shadow of the Tomb Raider on the Xbox Series S. And um, it's on Game Pass. Go check it out. 60 FPS, 900p with some upscaling techniques upwards to 1080p. Go have fun. Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one. Bye.